Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Shahab Karni from TVI 95. In my segment, Maryland Shining, as you can see, the ticker is running Maryland Shining. In this segment, we highlight the strength and the features that the state of Maryland offers in terms of trade, commerce, and economic opportunities. And we bring into this segment uh, different elected officials or people from private sector who are and who can and who will play an important role to add to the value that the state of Maryland offers in terms of whatever I just described. This morning, I have an emerging leader from Eastern Shore, Nicole Ackley. And she is a council lady, I call it council woman from Wacomico County. So before I go any further, I'm going to let her explain and let us introduce her profile that why she is an elected official, what made that happen. Welcome to my studio, Nicole. How are you today? Thank you for having me. I'm doing well. Um, I, uh, uh, just a little bit about my background. I'm originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. My husband and I relocated to the Eastern shore of Maryland about 20 years ago. Been here ever since. We've have, I have three children in the public school system, so I'm very much invested in the community here. Uh, and running for office, I, I felt I was at the point in my career where both businesses that I own, they were doing very well, almost stable. And I felt like I wanted to give something back to this area uh, that I could, that I could give, I could, I could help lead them into a new, a new area of growth. So Councilwoman, the little bit of research that I made, I did, especially in your county, you got seven council people and out of seven, you are the only woman. <laughs> is that yeah. so right? Yes, that is correct. I am the only female. Now, what's the population mix of this county, by the way? What's the it, demographic, it, male it, and female? Uh, we haven't gotten the new census data as of yet, but the last census data was three to one. Three women to every one female. I'm sorry, so, three women to one male. So you should have like close to four women in the council rather yes. than one. <laughs> I'm Am working right? on them. They're slowly coming around. So you are the shining example out of the state of Maryland, shining, a shining story from that county that three to one and only one woman in council. Yes. So that is an eye opener. And this is a good conversation that we can have in the state of Maryland about this disparity and, you know, not giving equal opportunity, especially for women mm -hmm. like you who can serve very well who are. So what is your vision? Tell our viewers, what is the strength your county offers to the state of Maryland in terms of economy, in terms of opportunities? And where do you see the potential which is not tapped yet? Go ahead. I see the the economic what we what we offer economically we have we are just expanding our airport we received 19 million dollars to do that so we have we have much more coming in and out of that airport we have some beautiful waterfront property that can be used commercially um, and that's throughout the county we also have a very large agricultural business that's our that's our primary source of of um, employment here in Wacomico County. So I think really tapping into that into some innovative ways to expand it is where I would like to go. So talking about agriculture, viewers, I'm sure you must have heard the name Purdue Chicken. You know, I mean, this is a <laughs> global brand. So aren't they based in your county? They are. Yes, they are, and they are. We are so blessed to have them. They employ over 62%, I believe, of all citizens here um, in the county. So they have been an amazing economic driving factor. Um, they are incredibly generous to the community, great community relations. And like I said, we're very blessed to have them. So Council Lady, I mean, during this difficult time, especially the pandemic and everything for almost last one year, the economic trends or the viability or the future trends have changed. 
and the trends are changing. So under these circumstances, as a visionary or as an elected official, if you were to decide the future course or the trends for your county within the county council, don't you think that you, you people can come up with some innovative, creative ideas to develop the farm, the agricultural economy in your county, set up some new trends? Any ideas? Anything to say about that? Yes. Yeah, I, we, I have been looking into this recently. Um, I had someone, uh, someone in my district who was interested in the anaerobic digestion of um, of chicken byproducts and how that would affect also the any biotech for engineer for um, energy use is this very much of an up and coming trend and be very much supported in this area supported and welcomed now in terms of we hospitality have, um, a lot. great in terms of hospitality i guess um the spillover traffic from the ocean to the, the waterfront uh, the Salisbury area getting the traffic in terms of hotel, motels, eateries, diners. So hospitality is a big sector also within your county, correct? Very much so, very much so. We have some of the most beautiful uh, camp areas on the west side of town, west side of the county, which have been record-breaking numbers this past, this past summer as other citizens are not able to travel outside of the state. They have utilized those. We have some of the most beautiful parks and recreation. We also have the only tertiary care hospital on the Eastern shore. So that is, that, that is a, a, an attraction that continues to grow along with two universities, um, the community college that we have available. So talking about university, you have got Salisbury University within your jurisdiction, big name, big campus. Uh, do you see any new ideas that can be instilled into their thought process? They can play a vital role at economic growth in this area, this Eastern Shore. What do you think about that? <laughs> well, I see, I see the university as really embracing women entrepreneurs really trying to help get them established, give them ideas, working them through a business plan. They've been, they've worked uh, collaboratively with the hospital to move forward in having a medical school or residency program. University of Maryland of Eastern Shore is now expanding their physician's assistance program and they're doing that through the hospital. So I see, I see healthcare really, I see that um, coming on the horizons a broader, a broader reach there, um, along with the agriculture is, I mean, we have 70% of our county is agriculturally zoned. So my question to you, um, Council Lady, that since you got elected, I'm sure you're dealing with a lot of other elected officials, not within the council, but House of Delegate, the state senator, the delegation from that area, one, private sector like Chamber of Commerce, mm -hmm. Civic Association, um, uh, different minority organizations. How is the response for new ideas in your area? How receptive they are for going forward? If you come up with some creative ideas, do you see a mindset of pushing back the new ideas or they're more receptive? What do you I think? See them, I see them being hungry for it wanting new ideas, welcoming it, bringing, bringing the ideas to the table and how can we make this work? We have had somewhat of a standstill in economic growth here because we haven't had that one stimulating to really pick up since Purdue. And so I think you know, with, with the hospital on the horizons, any new development or any new economic growth that we can put forward, I see there's, there's definitely a platform for it. So you don't see any roadblocks if some new ideas are coming in your direction, and especially as you mentioned, there is a huge potential for an agriculture sector, of farming initiatives. You have an airport right there, which is unique, and the mm -hmm. water is just right around the corner. So I think if some new ideas are coming 
um, from anywhere, that population will be receptive to those ideas. And I think making sure with, with any agricultural growth that we do, that we are also, um, we're just also aware of preserving the environment, which I think we're all wanting to do that. But on the Eastern shore, we're seeing the long-term um, long effects of, of us not paying attention to that when starting new projects. Excellent. Thank you very much, uh, Council Lady. My very personal question is up to you. If you feel comfortable to respond, that's fine. How do you see in next, I will say five to seven year, what is your journey in public sector? Where are you going from here? Rather than where I go from the here. Smile, I see the smile on your face, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, you know, I'm, I'm, this is, Wicomico County is my home. It's where my husband and I have raised our three children and wherever, wherever the path takes me to ensure the growth of Wicomico County and for all the citizens here, I'll, I'll follow that path. Good answer. <laughs> all right. So council lady, I'm so grateful that you joined me in a very short notice. We were trying to just highlight the feature that your jurisdiction offers to the state of Maryland. And in coming days, definitely we will be reconnecting with you with other ideas and have a thought process in place. So any final message that you would like to share with your constituent? I would welcome anyone to come, take a tour. I will drive you through the county it's an amazing, absolute amazing, beautiful place to be. It offers so much diversity with education, healthcare, agriculture, um, uh, industry. It's just, it, it's really a wonderful place. And so Shab, next time you come down this way, I'm gonna take you a tour of all the, all, all the spots I'd like to visit. Thank you very much. So, Council Lady, again, I'm so grateful on behalf of I-95 Television. We'll definitely be reconnecting very soon. And we need more leaders like you who can play their active role in, in shining Maryland and especially in the economic arena. So thank you again, you know, that you were able to join me. All right? And have a blessed day. Absolutely. Thank have you. a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay.